Big crowds, big wins and the podium places to be decided. The Wave Muscat started the final day leading overall. The British team Eekover and Round 1 winners Group Edwin de Rothschild, they were both ready to pounce. The pressure was on. They may have felt the pressure, but it never showed. The youngest skipper in the fleet, Paul Campbell James, he led the Wave Muscat to victory after an intense 36 race series. Yeah, we are absolutely ecstatic. We, um, yeah, after set and even before the season, we uh, couldn't have dreamed of this. And, uh, yeah, we're so pleased. The boys did fantastic all week and uh, yeah, bring on the champagne. It was the first ever victory for the Wave Muscat on the tour and the first ever podium place for British team Ecover. Mike Golding second. Really, really good. I mean, uh, I didn't come here expecting a second place. We were aiming as a team to get on the podium. But second's really great, big progression I think on board uh, since set and signs that we're moving in the right direction. They won round one and they got a podium place in Britain too. Group Eben de Rothschild finished third. Well, what a week it's been. The wind has blown hard from day one to six. We've seen some spectacular racing, huge crowds near photo finishes. And some crashes, including Frank Kamas, the fastest man in the world, heading towards the shore with no rudders, abandoning ship, crashing into the concrete wall. It was brilliant. I've seen it on the TV and followed it online, but it's the first time I've seen it up close and personal. Every day we've been here and we've been cheering as they come through the line and they give a little woohoo and then we're like woohoo and we love it the most. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic day. I mean, we came down from London. Today was just incredible. Incredible. Sailing has been a spectator sport unlike ever before. Round two at Cowes has really delivered something truly special. And now the tour heads west. Round three, Kiel, Germany. <laughs> 